Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more some assembly required with Stijo. How are you doing, Stijo? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Very good. I'm glad that you're doing well every day. Yeah. Just one of those guys. Just a well doer. I can't see a fucking thing. So eventually, if I just stand still, they should bring these robots back to me, because you're right, they're in the logistics system right now. Now we lack processing units. Ah, oh, it's a, still a power issue right now, okay. Oh god. I've run out of ammo. It happens. I I'd run out of ammo as well. And I still came and uh, tried to take on a massive fucking biter base. I run out of copper plate. I like how you're constantly making more pollution. Making this a never ending task. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I've uh, I've completely and utterly run out of ammo now, so I need to head back to base, pick up some more. There's only a couple of uh, expansion chunk candidates that I've missed, and that was before I turned it on. So you did turn it on, cheater. <laughs> Filthy cheater. Did you ever turn it off? <laughs> I did, in fact, yeah. Oh, did you? <clears throat> yeah, we're still having some pretty serious power issues. I'm going to keep working on this for a little bit longer, but... Um, I don't think we're going to expand the bus any longer. I'm going to actually set up a new row. Because we're getting pretty far away from the base. Oh, a new uh, power roll. Right, okay. Right. Get back into the system and get some more ammo. Where's the ammo stored? Uh, just near where it's made. I don't yeah, know. we're having copper issues, apparently. No way. Cool. Oh, no, we're not. It's just... Whatever happened here is fucked that. I mean, fixed up. For some reason, um, a part of the a part of the belt got moved. Could have been me. I don't know. I've been working on some stuff. Which yeah, which section? Of oh, it might be. Uh, if it was just rotated, that might be me turning it off at one point. I don't know. Ah. Okay. Sometimes I do that. I don't see. It. Uh, that was the. No. There's a huge amount. There's tons right here. No, there's definitely, like, it wasn't that. It was the, um... The solar panels had stopped working. Oh. Yeah, and it was because... That's, that's not good. It was because the, uh... The copper input to it had been rotated. Well, we definitely want lots more solar. I was going to say, we should we expand this? We're still using blue, um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fixed. How... Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to check this and see how many alien artifacts we've got. Oh, 900. It's not an awful lot. Well, I think it's enough to get get the job done. Yeah. Right, got enough ammo, let's get going. Wow, you just really blasted off the 
the screen for me. How many, no. legs, how many legs are you using? Uh, six. Gotta go fast, man. Yeah, indeed. Uh, if you think this is fast, you should have seen my my Bob's Mods thing. <laughs> Basically, the game was lagging so hard that I had to give myself extra legs to compensate for how much lag there was. So I was Do running at like I was running at like ten FPS, but uh, I was moving at a pretty decent speed. Do you remember though when we did uh, Bob's mods, and if you got enough speed monsters, you could run through walls, run through objects. Yes, that's pretty much the the speed that I was at. Like, I could run through walls, run through pipes, um... I think the biggest thing I could run through was a turret. So, like, a two. A two size. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. But I just couldn't, there was just no way for me to get my FPS back, because there was just so much shit happening. I think the max that I got up to was, like, 24 FPS. And that was only after using like the the kill biters command and writing a writing a command that removed all pollution from the map. That's a good way to do it. Yep. Just remove all the pollution. Sure. Yeah, we are the one green circuits again. I don't think it's a power issue right now. How are we doing at night? It's nighttime right now. We are draining power. Look how fast we're draining power. Holy crap. Oh my god. Look at the accumulator capacity just drop. I would, but I'm uh, still clearing shit out. Oh, that's a base. Yeah, power's gonna run out very, very soon. Well, well before night time's over. It's all these, uh, all these productivity modules, man. They had, they had so much power drain. I mean, each yeah. one of these assembly machines is almost a megawatt. Wow. That's, that's a lot. Yeah. I just need to speed up production of solar panels then. I did, yeah. Of course, there's not enough green circuits to really keep it going. We right, are... well, we shouldn't be getting attacked by any biters anytime soon. Okay, we almost made it through the night. We're at about two thirds productivity right now because it's turning into daytime. I say we shouldn't be getting attacked by any biters anytime soon, but the pollution is expanding. God damn it. Well, at least I've, uh... Stopped a little of it. Uh... I wonder how the oil trains are getting on. Good question. Alright, I gotta work on the next part of this project, which is the, uh... The... Oh, well, number seven's at 1.9k now, which is good. Rocket control units. So, processing units and speed modules, and that's it, huh? Well, that's pretty simple. Uh, I would like a mod that made the trains check the route a bit quicker. Because it takes them far too long to be like, oh, that way's empty. I should go and find another depot. Or that way's full, rather. I should go and find another depot. 
Right, I'm finally back in base. May have gone a little bit overkill on these electrical poles, but it's already set up, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> what is it? I was using a blueprint and I accidentally, like, put them... Instead of spacing them out, you know how you can, like, usually cover two machines with one electrical pole? It accidentally placed one next to every single machine instead. Oh, okay. So, a little bit excessive. Oh, well. Game will survive. <laughs> I'm sure we've got enough resources for a couple of extra electrical poles. Yeah, probably. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's why. Roomba strikes again. Oh my god, it's gonna be a lot of oil that I'm gonna waste here. What did I do? That's uh, just one of the oil stations. I remember saying to you, like, don't, um, make sure that you don't wire up more than the, the four oil tankers. Oh, is that the one I messed up? Yeah, we did that. I don't think we were actually recording then. Oh, okay. So it didn't happen. No, that was that was after we finished last week. Yeah. I've, <laughs> I've stuck myself in between <laughs> in between a load of stuff. Uh something. There we go. Needs more processing units. Needs more power. Hey! Okay, now, four is at 1.1k, but I think that's all sorted now. needs more green circuits. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what we're going for? Not really, no. That Indiana Jones. Yeah, no. Yeah, no.
Right. No, nope, sometimes it does this. Like when I when you click drag like a blueprint, sometimes it just goes nuts with the power poles, and other times it doesn't. I can't really seem to figure out why. No idea. Like, it worked a second ago, and now it's being kind of kind of crazy. There you go. That should fill stuff up a little bit quicker. Okay. Well, we're actually missing quite a lot of um, speed modules down here. We're not making speed modules at the moment. Oh, okay. We didn't have enough stuff. We're just making productivity modules right now. I had to turn it off again. Doesn't help that we keep on researching this all this stuff that's like really really expensive. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, all we've got right now is really really expensive stuff. So yeah, we keep running out of resources. Uh, Twenty gigawatts does not seem like very much power. Okay. Uh, that's because the DeLorean required 1.21 gigawatts. Are we totally out of blue belt? Are these robots just failing to do their job? No, there's 2,800 of them available. Where's my belt? Huh. Where's my belt, son? You let me down for the last time. Oh my god, I love having the, uh, the pocket crafting speed bonus. What are you making right now? Uh, just pipes. Bonk, bonk. That's so weird. When we when we originally built this bus, how is it that we ended up with uh, the iron so far away from the central path? Usually for me, the iron's like right next to the path. It just kind of feels strange. Idea. There's a lot of talking involved. Was it was about thirty episodes or something to actually decide on what we were doing for the main bus. Sounds about right. Yeah. Important decision that we uh probably fucked up anyway. All right. You filthy... What happened now? I'm like... A couple of pipes short of uh, finishing off what I was doing. Well, all of the components for rocket parts... Are... Slowly going to get fed over here. Hey, awesome. Um, but unless we get this uh, green circuit production really, 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 really upgraded, we're just not going to have enough um, of anything, really. There's not enough. Ah, okay. Hey, guess what? Plastic production's down. Whoa, we're out of petroleum. What happened there? No idea. 
We had tons of petroleum. Of course, I did turn it all into all the light oil into solid fuel production, so. Unexploded oil. That, that could be part of it. Yeah. Plenty crude. Crafting. No petroleum at all. We're slowly building up extra light oil, so perhaps even with all of this being made into solid fuel, we should consider turning some of the light oil into petroleum. Right. Well, uh, this was you or me? Me, uh, I think. I, I can't remember. You cool. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again. Same time, same place tomorrow. See you soon. Bye-bye.